Hallelujah, bless the Lord. Yes, uh, we we are making progress, and um, I I can see how the Lord is working inside you and things that are so important in your life, in your daily life, in your daily walk. Um, the Lord brings solutions. See, I do believe that when someone speaks the truth, it doesn't, doesn't tell you about needs. You need to do that. You need to do that. You don't have enough. You need that. But it gives you what you need. It speaks and brings into you the strength, the power, the wisdom, the understanding. So you can walk the strength, the faith, that you can walk in the walk that's ahead of you. I do believe that. The words of the Lord empower you. They are full of life and spirit. We are walking with um, Joshua. We talked about... Um, sending the spies and that that was a very um, very important uh, step but I just want to bring to you something um, that's that's on my heart because I uh, I do talk to people I do listen to different type of trends and ideas and and um, somehow, um, the way sonship, relationship, new creation is presented, it's presented that um, everything was completely done, and now we just discover what we have, who we are, and everything falls in the place. Now, that is partially true because, yes, the Lord has done everything. And we have everything. But this is the difference in understanding, um, understanding sonship as I want to introduce you to it you are trained as a son that means the soul of the son learns becomes the spirit is already the spirit is not becoming is it deals with now but the soul is becoming the son that means there is a training part so just come with me as I show you how Joshua directed the people to get into Canaan and I think, I know, you will see the difference. Okay? Good. <clears throat> so one, one, of the, one of the things that I noticed is that they chose, the Lord chose a time when their Jordan was at the flood stage. Which the carnal mind and the judgment says, no, 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 let's wait when it's the smallest <laughs> so it can be the shortest way. Now, the flat stage. And I, I remember when uh, Elijah goes with the Baal, Baal uh, prophets and um, they were dancing a whole day trying to get fire and, 
and then he says okay I know you don't have water because it hasn't rained for a while but you know find these buckets of water and throw them to make sure there is not one in a million chances that from the heat from two stones that come together would be a spark and people would say well it happened but the fire comes straight from heaven it's the Lord that does it so he has them just throw that water so it's a flood <laughs> the flood stage and the Lord says it's time and I want you to listen in Joshua chapter 3 uh, the directions they are important the directions okay Joshua rose early in the morning and uh, they set out from Acacia Grove and came to the Jordan he and all the children of Israel and lodged there before the cross they crossed over so it was after three days that the officers went through the camp and they commanded the people saying there was a plan was distributed to the officers and they went through the people and they distributed that plan to everybody else when you see the ark of the covenant of the Lord your God in the priests the Levites bearing it then you shall set out from your place and go after it there's a plan the priests go first the ark goes first yet there shall be a space between you and it in about 2,000 cubits by measure <laughs> do not come near it that you may know the way by which you must go for you have not passed this way before do you hear pioneers <laughs> you have not passed this way before remember when Elijah got to Jordan right before he was taken out of the chariots of fire he was with Elisha his disciple and he took the mantle and hit the waters and they parted and they passed but that was another way of parting So are we doing it Elijah way? Are we doing it with the priests and the ark? It's according to how the Lord is teaching us, is training us. So would they just sit there and say, Lord, we trust you we just rest here and you'll move us to the other part now there was a plan that was built and the plane had detail and they had to walk according to how they were taught what if they didn't obey and didn't follow the ark and they decide to go too close or go a different directions they would have drowned <laughs> they had to follow the directions because they came from the Lord through Joshua and through those officers now listen to this because this is important sometimes we divide wrongly the word the word of righteousness, the word of rest, the word of finished work of Christ. We divide it not clearly. Listen to this, okay? The difference between crossing the Red Sea and crossing the Jordan. That's why you cannot 
just draw the line and said this is everything from now on this is how you deal with this when the attack comes when the problem comes this is the only thing you have to do because there were a crossing of waters in both situation it was impossible in both situations it was god's intervention in both situations but those different okay yeah i got you thinking i know that okay so here it is crossing the red sea is they were coming out of egypt but they were not going into canaan into the land that god gave them they were coming out of egypt into the middle place which was the wilderness that's a huge difference crossing jordan they were coming out of the wilderness and they were going into canaan which was the land of the promise they were getting it How did the crossing of the Red Sea happen? The Lord did it. The, those just the direction, stretch out your hand, the staff, and the Lord parted it, and it just went. And Moses said, be still. You got nothing in this. The Lord, this is all the Lord's right all the lords there are no instructions there's no planning was whew, the miracle of the lord doing it moses knew it everybody else just saw that okay so how did it happen they were still the Lord did everything, he just walked. Okay. How did the crossing of Jordan happen? There were clear instructions, there was a training, the priests have to go first. There were no instructions coming out of Egypt, but there were instructions moving into Canaan. It was a plan, a wise planning coming from wisdom, the wisdom of God. It was a design, it was a blueprint shown to Joshua and the leaders and they would follow that. You see the difference? Because they were gonna go in a land where the food would not come every morning right there here's the manna praise you lord thank you that you give me everything at my doorstep but they would have to learn to sow and reap <laughs> they had to know the laws of the land <laughs> that's different another difference in crossing the red sea the enemies follow them through that and they were all drowned very different crossing the jordan there were no enemies following them nothing only israel crossed so two big miracles Two waters to cross, very different because you come out of and you go into and those are, the, the, the origin and the destinations are different. What is the plan of the Father for you in your spiritual age, in your 
season that you are in. You have to learn from him. Sometimes he might say, I, I got it. You just wait, just trust me. Everything is there. But some other times he might say, I have a direction, I have a plan for you. And you learn to listen to him. You see the difference. Yes. I'm so glad that I could um, bring two things together that happen with the people of God. They are both God initiated. They are both the plan of the Father. They are both from Him. They are both finished works. <laughs> yes, the Red Sea crossing and the Jordan. They were both finished works. But they enter in them in different ways. You see that and you receive it. You are so blessed.